Sonic, the heart of your system. Bryony here from Kit Guru, and I've just finished up at the NVIDIA launch event here at Cologne in Germany. They showed us three new graphics cards for their new brand new lineup for 2018. We know they've been coming for a long time and they are finally here. The RTX 2070, the RTX 2080 and the RTX 2080 Ti. Here's everything you need to know. Starting off with the name, obviously these cards are now called RTX and not GTX. Uh, this is going to be because Nvidia is heavily focusing on ray tracing for the new graphics cards. And this is the technology which allows for hyper-realistic lighting, shadows and reflections in games. So the new RTX cards seem to simply crush the previous Pascal cards when it comes to ray tracing. The 2080 Ti can calculate 10 giga rays per second, while the 1080 Ti can only calculate 1.21 giga rays per second. In case you're wondering how this applies to actual gaming, we did see several demos of upcoming games. This included Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Metro Exodus and Battlefield 5, and they all utilised ray tracing to show some incredible looking explosions, shadows and ambient lighting conditions. We're obviously going to have to wait to play those games until they're actually out, but there is certainly some potential there to create an immersive and lifelike gaming experience. Unfortunately, this new tech is definitely not going to come cheap. The RTX 2070 is going to cost £569 from NVIDIA's UK website. The 2080 is up for pre-order at £749. And the 2080 Ti is going to cost a whopping £1,099. Uh, these cars are going to start shipping from September 20th. If you're golf's back by the prices, you're definitely not alone. Nvidia did say the RTX 2070 will be faster than the previous £1,200 Titan X, but we're going to have to wait to see if these claims actually hold up in the real world. So in terms of the cars themselves, the 2080 Ti sports an all new design with two 13 blade fans. This is in contrast to the previous single fan blower style reference cards Nvidia used to make. Nvidia has likely had to amp up the cooling requirements to enable the core frequency to stay as high as possible. There's also a new 13 phase power supply to contend with. If you want a full breakdown of the RTX 2070, 2080 and 20 Ti specs, make sure to head over to kitguru.net where we have the full details from the launch. Also, stay tuned for our upcoming reviews as well. We're going to shed the light on just how good Turing really is as soon as we get our hands on those exciting new graphics cards. So that seems to be some pretty impressive stuff. Uh, I was certainly impressed. Uh, we'll have to see where it takes us in the world of gaming and graphics. Uh, make sure to comment down below. Uh, tell us what you think of these new graphics cards. Is one on your wish list for this Christmas? We know they're going to be coming out soon. Uh, also, make sure to like this video. Remember to hit the subscribe button as well and the bell icon so you get a notification every time we go live.